Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be covering checks, the elements of a check and how you write them. So let's get started. So this video was requested by somebody who I won't mention and because they don't frequently write checks because somebody else does it, I figured let's make a video on it. So first let's talk about the parts of a check. Please note that this check is a dummy check that I just created. So the numbers don't mean anything, the names and everything don't mean anything, and I apologize in advance. This is my first time making a graphic and then putting it up on the screen, but it was just easier than trying to get the camera like angled over my head and my handwriting is atrocious. So let's keep going. All right, so starting from the top left corner, we have the account holder's information. So this is either the individual's name or a company name followed by the address. Then to the top right corner is the check number. So that's just the number of the check in the sequence. Below the check number is where you'll see a date line. And this is where you write the date. Usually it's the date that you write the check, but some people write checks in advance, so they date it for the future. You wanna pay attention because a check doesn't become valid until that date. Now, I also recommend writing the full year out because back in 2020, it was really easy for fraudsters to date the check for the following year. Next, we have pay to the order of. Now, this is the line where you write the payee's name. So that's who you're actually paying. And it could be an individual's name or a company's name. Now, also note that if you want anyone to be able to use a check, then you can write it out to the word cash. Now, on some checks, this part is a box and on other checks, it's a line, but there you see the dollar amount. And this is where you write the amount you're paying for in digits or in numbers. Then we have a long line that ends with the word dollars. Here, you write out the amount in words. Now, when it comes to cents, you have a couple of options. You could write the word and, and then the amount in words following by the word cents, or you could write and, and then write the cents as a fraction. Also, if you're writing a check that's under a dollar, you wanna write zero dollars and, and then either fill it out with words or as a fraction. Towards the bottom left here, you'll have the bank's logo and their information. So that's the bank that the person is using their checking account information from. And then underneath that, we'll have the memo line. So this is where you write the purpose for this check and note that it's not always mandatory. So you can write a check and leave this memo line blank. For some payments, you'll have to list in this memo line, whether it's a note to which loan you're applying it to, if it's a back payment, et cetera, et cetera. So pay attention to who you're paying and if they have any stipulations here. Now to the right, there's another blank line and this is where you'll sign the check and the check has to be signed for in order to make it valid. Now let's talk about these numbers at the bottom. So for some checks, it's a bunch of numbers with symbols in between them. And for others, they are sectioned out into different parts. So there'll be a left hand, a middle, and then a right hand. So let's talk about the numbers to the left. The numbers to the left, usually within these two little icons, is the bank's routing number. Then the one that's in the middle or sometimes after this second little symbol is the account number. Then after this symbol, the last set of numbers should mirror the check number from that top right corner. Now, what about if you need to write a void check? Well, then you just simply write void over this middle portion and you wanna make sure to not cover the numbers on the bottom of the check. Let's just make some examples of some checks so you get an idea of how it looks filled out. So that way when you need to do it, you have an idea of how to do it. So the first check is gonna be for an amount of $14.95. And then the next check is gonna be for 12 cents. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, especially just explaining the parts of the check and how to fill them out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And as always, more than happy to help. Please do me a big favor, like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody else because you'll be surprised. A lot of people don't write checks anymore. And so if you've never done it before and you need an idea, this video should be able to help. So until the next one, bye.